How's it going today there, YouTube? Well, we got kind of a chilly, rainy, misty, sunny morning up here today. I just wanted to talk for a minute here. This is a video I've been meaning to do for quite some time. I wanted to do it outside of the trailer, but that's ah, rain. So I'm going to shoot, shoot it here inside the machine shop. And that's using chains and binders versus ratchet straps when you're putting equipment up on your trailer, like a tractor or something like that. Now, before I get into this too deep, I want to make a mention here. Courtney at Good Works Tractors did a very good in-depth video on using ratchet straps to put a tractor on a trailer. I'm going to put a link in the description box down below to his YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen his channel, I suggest you go over and check it out. He's got a very nice YouTube channel. Now, as far as using ratchet straps, I don't disagree with using ratchet straps. I've used them multiple times, hauling scrap metal, hauling cars and whatnot. But if I'm putting something heavy like a tractor, I mean, I don't got the biggest tractor in the world, but these tractors are both about not quite 4,500 pounds a piece. If I'm putting one of these on my trailer, I'm going for a chain and binder. I do have the uh, bigger grade 73 eighths gold chain with the uh, bigger binders, of course. So I think the binders are rated for like 33,000 pounds or something like that. Not gonna have any issues with that because I don't wanna, not that I don't trust ratchet straps, like I said, I've used them in the past, but I don't wanna find out the negative effects of having one of these come through the back tailgate of the truck or something crazy like that. Not worth having an accident for, so that's why I, I invest in the change of binders, especially for tractors and whatnot. And of course, well, that gives you opportunity to haul home heavier stuff. So at the end of the day, you know, as far as tractors and whatnot go, change of binders is the way to go for me. Now, I do make a habit of crossing my chains. I wouldn't suggest crossing a ratchet strap because they can rub through uh, as far as chains go. But two in the front, two in the back, they want four corner tie down because they do classify tractors. It doesn't matter if it's modern day or an antique, a tractor is classified as heavy equipment. So I do want a four corner tie down. So four chains, four binders. But yeah, I think this is kind of a opinionated topic. Like I said, ratchet straps have their uh, limitations. Well, of course the chain does too, but it's much, much higher. But at the end of the day, for me, chains and binders are the way to go for a tractor. That's a quick video for you guys today. Thanks for watching.